once again, it's up to Harry to collect all the damn ingredients for this Polyjuice potion. But the next section is going to be quite interesting and a little bit funny as well. So let's go follow the trail of food. Like literally, there are drumsticks. <laughs> oh god. What's Goyle up to now? There's Goyle. I'd better follow him. I mean, seriously, drumsticks on the floor. It's just amazing. What if Snape finds out about this? He's like, ah, damn it, Goyle was here again. Just nomming on all these drumsticks. God dang it. Better send Filch to clean all this mess up. <laughs> Anyways, we have to go to the next area. Again, one of these areas which you can only visit once. And there are a lot of secrets. Hey, sub drumstick. So, uh, yeah. Again, let's make sure that we actually co collect every bean and every wizard card in this map. Because it's a quite long map. And this is also the map which has one infamous thing that I will talk about. And hopefully more people will actually understand what it is. And, uh, yeah. So, let's go to it. So here we are in the map that I would just like to call, call the Goyle level for some reason because it doesn't really have a name. It has eight different secrets and they are actually quite interesting. So first we're gonna cast Defendo on these little fuckers. There you go. Another gnome. Oh no, it's not a gnome. <laughs> it's a flip bender switch. I thought it was a gnome. So confused. It's okay. I wish it was a gnome. Because, you know, more beans! But a wizard card, that'll do. Let's hit the flipendo switch. And with this, we actually create some more platforms. Which is always lovely. This is actually the true test of Har Harry's. Harry's. Why did I say that? Like, this This is the true test of the parkouring skills. Just look at this. Who creates this? Like, seriously. Who who does this? Just for a couple of beans. There is no secret up here. Like, literally. It's just a couple of beans. Ugh. So we go further up the staircase. And once again, you can... If you really want to risk your life for a couple of these beans, then go ahead. I mean, look at this. Who would ever want to do this who places those beans there you want to be totally risky look at this drop look at this jump we're gonna do it anyway because harry is such a beast <laughs> seriously though weird level design but it's okay it's okay oof so we're just gonna continue and hey some more vines Ugh. Even more even more even more. And then we can actually cross uh, cross across here and then whoop de doo. And one more bean to collect. Spiderweb. Now let's jump over here and before we go there's another treasure chest. Beans. Which is lovely. Alright. And then we have to make a nice jump up here to this beam. And we have to jump over here. Now, and this is what I would like to talk about. I think a lot of people who have actually uh, seen this or played it themselves know what I'm talking about. It's this freaking block. This block is so glitchy. And I'm gonna explain, because you have to push this block uh, down there because then you can actually access a hidden secret area, because it's actually the first secret of this map. But the thing that usually happens is you cast Flipendo, and not on this side, because if we jump over to this side first, uh. like this bean, you see there's a Flipendo switch on there as well. So the thing is, normally you should, you should be able to cast it once and then it actually falls over. What happens in in my case, 99% of the time, what happens is I cast Flipendo on it and it only moves a little bit. So it only comes uh, to here where Harry actually stands. Just, it comes to there. Now, you may think for the first time, oh, okay, I just have to cast it again and then it will fall over. No, it'll be stuck there forever. And I've seen many videos on YouTube 
of people who are actually playing through this part and it actually works. And then all the comment section is filled with, how did you get that block to move? Like seriously, I can't do it, it gets stuck. If you do a Google search on it and you try to Google Harry Potter, Chamber of Secrets, uh, bit of Goyle level, then there are actually some forum posts as well. Even on the EA forum posts, um, it actually, there are actually some people with this uh, issue. They say like, yeah, there is this one part with the block, it doesn't move. It moves only once, but then after, after that it doesn't move and I can't get the secret. And this question was actually remained unanswered. So it's quite unfortunate. So now I'm actually quite tense because if this doesn't work, it's not completely hopeless, um, but I would like it to work. So I'm gonna stand over here, do a little prayer, and if this works, then I'm happy. But I'm not sure how to fix it. If this doesn't work, I have to show you some sort of a weird way to actually get to the secret. So let's hope this works. It actually works. <laughs> okay. It actually worked. When I did my practice run, it did not work. And I I have seen and you know, look, I can't try to come with my words. Okay. So I am not sure if this is true. Actually I really doubt it, but maybe what I would advise you to do is just to stand over here and cast Flipendo. Because as you have seen, this works. I've seen other videos where people just stand here on this platform, cast Flipendo, and it works. What I've also seen is that people, um, they stand, oh shit, uh, that's actually too far. <laughs> Sorry, good thing I didn't take any damage. But what I've seen is that people also uh, stand on this platform, they jump, and then they cast it. That also seemed to work. But if you stand just, I don't know, somewhere else i'm not sure then it it just didn't work for some reason then i guess it doesn't work now i don't think this is actually the answer because people might actually leave in this video and in, in this comment section they'll be like lux i stood over here i cast flipendo and it didn't work you liar i'm like i'm sorry it didn't work for me during my practice when it does it, it it works now i mean i just want to like i said i, I spent some time on this trying to figure it out and I really didn't know the answer. I'm happy it worked, it, it, it works now and then I like, caught it on video, but um, this is really, this is, this is actually really ridiculous. I don't know what, what causes this problem. I don't know how to fix this problem. For me, it's just more luck based, I guess. Now it works. So this is what you have to do then. You have to cast Flipendo on this. There's a Luma statue. So then you climb on this bookshelf and then you can actually access this Lumos area. And this is actually the first secret. And it contains a silver wizard card, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it's a silver wizard card. But some people might be like, but Lux, like I said, this block, it just doesn't want to move. What do I do? I've also seen a comment, whoa, Bit of a lag spike, I'm sorry. I've also seen a comment from someone who said that if you stand on these books and you stand on this candle and then you do this, you can also do it. You see, so there is a solution. Uh, I wanna thank the person, I'm not sure the name, but I wanna thank the person in one of these videos that actually mentioned this parkour skill, whatever. So it is possible to actually do it even if the block doesn't fall. So people, again, I'm gonna demonstrate Hopefully I can do it again in one smooth movement. Again, jump here, jump on this candle, jump a bit sideways, and then you can actually climb on this bookshelf. That's the second method. And I recommend you all, if the block doesn't fall for you, try this method. Also make sure that you actually don't jump to the right because you can actually get stuck behind this uh, light candle. And then you actually have to reset your game, uh, load it up again at the last save point. So, but like I said, this is a method, this is the second method, not the official method, but it is a method. So if, like I said, I mean, I'm going on for a couple minutes here, but I do wanna stress, I am aware of the fact that some, that some people actually have problems with this bug. I have problems with this bug as well sometimes during my practice when I had this problem and I was really stressed whether it actually work. And then I actually found that solution. So thank you person who actually said that you can do this through the parkour method because uh, 
maybe I would have tried that as well if I was desperate, but I mean, it's, it's good to know that there is a solution to this. But seriously though, game, what the hell? This, this problem will probably never get fixed. So if you have some problems with this block, I feel you, man. Seriously, I do feel you. Let's go save it up, though. So now we can actually continue with the next part of the game. Finally. And what do you think is behind this corner? Just, just take a guess. Is it a spider? Is it a gnome? No, it's a fire crab. You can hear it's a fire crab. But what kind of fire crab? A ginormous one. What is this? Look at the fire it's actually spreading. What is this? So yeah, thankfully, once you tip it over, it doesn't actually come back to life, I think. It doesn't uh, flip itself over, but what in the world? This is an enormous fire crab. It's pretty scary, and you saw the fire, I mean, jeez. Anyways, we have to push this, ugh, we have to push this plate, and there should be a gnome. There really should be one, but if he doesn't want to appear, then that's fine. That's fine by me, I mean... Okay then, second secret by the way. Oof. I'd mentioned this before, but the rules of the game change when you're frapsing, when you're recording this game. Because fraps tends to change everything in games. Maybe, maybe if you push the block with fraps it works. Also, oh, you're all the way over there. Okay. I don't think you were supposed to be here. I, I, I don't think so. I think you were supposed to just chilling over there, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm just gonna put you in there anyways. I want my beans. Free beans. Nice. Okay. But whatever. We can continue. Now this area is pretty large. Like seriously, it's a pretty large area. So we're gonna do it step by step. So first you might be thinking, let's go over here. And you have the right to do so. You can go over here, no secret, no secret, but a couple of beans. So there's a bean over there, there's a bean over there. So let's collect them. And then we have to push this block, and this block is, is not glitchy. I think it's not glitchy. Alrighty. So we drop ourselves down here. They might be thinking, where do we go? Do we go here? Or do we go there? Well, we're gonna go here first. Yes, we're gonna go here first. I had to, I had to think for a moment. This is because this is such a large area. There are multiple ways you can actually do this. But I'm gonna do it the way that I like to do it. First, let's make sure that we actually dispose of everything. So, let's try to jump up here. The Fendo. And of course, we're gonna try and make sure that we actually get some more beans from this. Lovely. I mean, yeah, it's only just a couple of beans, but it's still fun to see. Thank you. Now we're gonna dispose of you. Thank you for your contribution towards my collection of beans. Okay, now we're gonna go up. No, well, we're probably gonna go to the right. It would be better. We have to do this step by step, this climbing. Very diligent. There's a Lumo statue over there, so let's activate it. And now we can climb up there. This is not a secret. This 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 does not count as a secret area, but you can just go up there, collect the chocolate frog. If you are hurt and collect a couple of beans but there's nothing else to do here it's also funny the way that this this designed you can actually as you can see there is a small gap that you can actually just look across and you're like huh what is this nothing too special though but it's fun to actually see so the same can be said over there you can be like huh what's over there there's a bit of a wide spot over there but eh, nothing too interesting we can reactivate the loss we can do that Climb up here, and this looks like one of those uh, potion uh, stashes, like uh, when we had to get the uh, bike one horn. And again, a couple of beans here and there. I like the positioning of the beans, it's really fun if I can get it. 
another Luma statue. So you might be thinking, what, what, what is this one? Let's activate it anyway. And then there's another Lumos area, and this one is a secret. So let's open it up, and we get some more beans. But, you know, another secret uncovered. Pretty nice. And I think that covers it for this little area. I'm just gonna double check if see there's anything on the shelf that I can actually break or collect. Nah, I don't think that's it. Uh, we can reactivate Lumos, but it's not necessary at this point. We're gonna go to this area first. Dispose of you. Dispose of the snappers. Because once again, many, many snappers. And it makes you think, does Coil really go through all this trouble? Really? Is that, is that how he went? Is that how Coil went? It's kind of strange. But yeah, there are a lot of... Uh, Spiky plants and a lot of snappers. And yes, we are going to dispose of them. One by... Here we go. Uh, let's see, can we do this from a distance? Yes. Oh, hello there. You came back to life. Is that so? Did you just came back to life? Did I just stun you then? Oh, well, you've seen how uh, the snapper got me. I think this, yeah, that wasn't the middle part. Don't want to aim for the middle part. Thankfully, there are chocolate frogs everywhere. So again, no reason for me to use a potion. There we go. Let's collect the chocolate frog. Come on. There you go. Full health. Nice. Uh, let's see. Well, let's jump over here first. Let's dispose of the last snapper. No, I do not want to aim for the middle part. That's what I kind of hate. The game really tries to like push me to actually aim from the middle part, but I don't want to. Oh well. So you might be thinking, what have we done here? Why did we dispose of them? Well, because there are some stuff that we can actually collect in here. This is not a secret. This is just just a hidden area. Well, not really hidden, but it's it's not a secret. A couple of beans, nothing special. But we can actually go to some other areas in here. You have to be aware though, because there are some of these mushrooms down there. So better dispose of them first, cut their stems. So you don't get poisonous gas all over you. There you go. And what's the purpose of this? Absolutely nothing actually. But it's just, if you cannot make this jump, you fall here and then at least you can get back up. And uh, yeah, this is the area with big ass fire crab. You can actually drop yourself down there, but why would you? Maybe we can throw a projectile at the fire crab. Close enough. But let's go back. I hate it when you actually auto pick up stuff. That was a really sweet throw. <laughs> yeah, let's. Uh, we can do that actually for this area as well. I might just uncover it. I mean, why not? I mean, just you know, just just try to get everything out there. Also, what a jump, Harry! What a jump. Eh. Let's see. Or Defendo. Yes. One more to go. Eh, that one didn't work. Eh, that's unfortunate. Let's see. There you go. Now it works. Again, there is really nothing to collect down there, but just for sure. Okay, let's make another nasty jump. Eh, didn't get that jump. That's the first time I guess I actually miscalculated the jump. Oh well, let's do it again. Ugh, barely just got on. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here. Lots of nasty little jumps. Drop ourselves down. Nothing to collect in here. But we can actually cause the fendo there. Spider web. You might be thinking, what is this area? Well, in short, well, this is the next area, but we're not going to go there yet. Yes, you did see a pixie over there. What we're going to do, though, is going to drop ourselves down there and get rid of some more plants. Because, honestly, what is the deal? 
all these plants and mushrooms. Also, snails. I haven't forgotten about you, snail. Seriously, though. Ah, so let's more defendo. It's so much defendo spam. It's ridiculous. You're gonna go back to life. I know you are coming back to life. You sneaky snail. More defendo, more defendo. Oh my god, so much defendo. But yes, we're back in this area. So, yeah, now we're actually gonna go back. Just wanted to showcase that, yes, we are back in this area. And the snails actually have no purpose, so we're just gonna stun them. We're gonna go in here, and... Oh, shit. Bit of an endurance round here. We have to dispose of two fire crabs. So that's stage one. Yes, I said stage one, because there's also a stage two. If snails. At least these snails look like they actually want to go into the pit. So that's okay. And that was stage two complete, and now we can actually get ourselves the treasure chest. Again, this is not a secret though. This this is just another area that you can just discover. But it doesn't count as a secret. And now, whoa, a bit of a glitch of the texture right there, but it's okay, I hope. And yes, and now we are here, and I think with that, we have actually discovered every little corner of this large, large area. So now we can actually progress, which is nice, because I like progression. We've been here way too long. Okay, so what are we gonna do? That was one little pixie, Defendo here. You might hear another pixie to the right. That is because there's another Lumos area with the pixie in it. So we're gonna go in here, a little more there. That's the next secret. So that's secret number four, I believe. Yes. So yeah, we're gonna collect some more beans. Nothing strange going on right here. Alrighty. And just let's continue. Alright, cool. So we're just gonna go. And where do we go? Oh, we're just gonna go in there. Oh! What the hell? Child endangerment. And it's another one of those big ass fire crabs. And again, it begs me the question, did Goyle go through this way? Did he also have to defeat a fire crab? It's, it doesn't make any sense at this point. Ah, but now we get to this area. Which is just a basic little puzzle, which you can actually skip. You don't really have to do the puzzle. But let's activate Lumos. And it shows you this little cutscene. If you're going down there, then we can actually, you know, uh, cast the pendo and turn the switches around. There's also another Lumo statue there, and you're gonna see quite soon that there are a lot of Lumo statues, and it begs me to question why. Also, we can cast Alohomora here, and now we can actually go one floor up. And then, again, you might be thinking, well, what's the point? We're gonna cast Lumos, okay, sure, whatever. But if we walk on this edge, behind the Lumos statue, is another secret. This one gives you a wizard card and some beans. Amazing. Almost at 1300. And also, if you were curious what the back of a Lumos statue looks like, it looks like this. So yeah. yeah just, just in case you were wondering. Oof, so we have to... <laughs> seriously though, walking on this ledge. Ugh, seriously. Ugh. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna just do the puzzle because there are two more treasure chests that we can actually get from doing this simple little puzzle. Nothing too, too complicated. Kind of like the one at the... Uh, Rick the Semper challenge where we had to match the uh, portraits from the you know the front the left side and the right side of uh, Lion no not Lion of Lockhearts why did I want to say Lionheart I guess my mind is in something else these days anyways not a wizard card and the stupid little spider crawling on my wizard uniform Ugh. so yeah Lockhart, seriously. 
That dude. <laughs> okay, well now let's try to connect all the blue ones together. Bit repetitive. I know. But hey, if you want to get yourself some more wizard cards and beans, that's what you gotta do. And no, these do not count as uh, secrets. They're just there. I don't know why they actually tried to implement this, because it doesn't really add any value to me. Oh, well, it gave me a wizard card. This one just gives me chocolate frogs and some beans. Which I guess is nice, but meh. And I think with this we have actually uncovered everything. We can't activate Lumos just in case. But you will see there's another Lumos statue right there. That's like... Why are there so many Lumos statues? Alright. This is also one thing that interests me as a kid. I was like, Harry, do you really want to pick up beans that were covered in Scourge? I mean, I know you're not eating them like that one kid from Ravenclaw, but still, it's like... Really? You're, you're gonna collect them anyway? Ugh. Another Lumos statue, seriously though. But first, what's in this chest? In this chest, we get peeves! Ugh. Just get away, you, you stupid little poltergeist. Yeah, just go away. Go away. But it's interesting because think about it. If there was anything in this treasure chest, it would probably go through this pit with some green icky stuff in it. I mean, seriously, think about it. So it's actually, if you, if you really think about it, it's like, oh yeah, actually that makes kind of sense. Well, of course you could just stand really close to the chest. Maybe that was the plan of the game designers to scare you off like that. Who knows? And then you would actually jump scare and then you would actually fall into the pit to your death. That could be a possible theory. Anyways, let's continue. Some more Scourge. And here is actually the hidden Lumos area. Yes, I'm just gonna show it to you. That is another secret. With a couple of chocolate frogs. It's nice, I guess, but I didn't really need them. More Scourge. Really, if you want to collect all these beans, you really have to walk precisely. I mean, look at this. And yet another Luma statue. What is this? Let's make this jump first, though. Don't be fooled. There's actually a gap here. There's not a bridge like this one. So you really got to time your jump and make sure you actually hit that safe book. Oof, made it. Let's save it up. Alright, so again, we can cast Lumos. Here we, go. Here we go. We can cast Lumos, but there's not really much point to this at, at this point, really. Uh, let's see. Defendo! Cast some more Defendo. Claim over here and over there. Ugh, and I already see a pixie down there. So yeah, let's continue with that. On. There you go. Uh, no, we're actually gonna go over here first. Why? Because treasure chest in cauldron. Why not? And again, if Goyle went through this path, it's I don't think he actually went through this path. He probably took a very easy shortcut. So yeah, I'm thinking way too deep into this game. I know I am. But, you know, still, I'm asking these questions because I'm older and I tried to think of it. I tried to think of the logic. Back then it was like, logic? I just want to play a game. But yeah, now I'm trying to find the logic in this. But yeah, then again, logic, magic world. It's hopeless, right? Alrighty. Let's cast Defendo. So we can uh, work our way down safely. There we go. One of these little pesky, annoying little enemies. But there's a gnome already trying to nom on some of these uh, lovely mushrooms. It's just amazing. Come on, you can do it. There you go. And it seems that the other enemies don't really care about this. They're like, eh, it's fun. Let, let him have his fun. These enemies are like so aggressive, but the gnome is like, I just want to get my beans. Also, that's really close to this plant. Oh, you saw that? You hear that? The plant was actually trying to sting me right there. Ugh. 
Okay, here we go. More beans. Lovely. And there's actually one bean over there. Okay. There you go. You might be thinking, where the hell is Goyle? Well, we're gonna catch up to him pretty soon. Also, ten Wigan bark tree stuff. Okay. So we're actually really close to the end right now. And you might be asking yourself, well, you still have a couple of secrets to go. That is true. And also, I'm really close to these plants. Ah, let's get this chest. But yeah, we're actually really close to the end. But there are a couple of things that we have to take care of. And another warning, just in case. Because what we're going to do is actually walk on this little ledge. And... Just take a look at this. I mean, once you jump on that side, and there's a bit of a lag there, but once you jump on this side, you cannot go back to that side. So yeah, make sure you've actually uncovered everything there is to uncover, because you cannot go back once you, once you jump over this. Also, actually do not jump over this right now. First, let's try to actually cast the Fendo in this one. It opens up a bridge, and this bridge will actually act as a secret later on. So, yes. You may also hear that these stupid little enemies are getting it on there. We're gonna jump over here though, because awesome parkour skills. <laughs> Am I right? We're gonna go to this area in a bit. And you also see actually that, you know, once you actually try to dispose of these plants, the spikes are kind of homing because they really want to like you see that the spikes actually go up now because you're higher on a higher platform it's just like wow game seriously you really tried to make my life difficult eh alrighty so now we can drop ourselves down and around the corner is yet another fire crab and this is my question, this fire crab must have a really shitty life right now because it probably doesn't want to be anywhere near water. Lumos. And the next area is right here. There we go. Couple of beans. And you're not gonna spoil the fun. I hope. There you go. I mean seriously, do they actually like water? We can test it out right now. That's so strange. What the hell? Uh. Okay, well, have fun there. <laughs> uh, I didn't. I didn't expect that to happen. Oh well. Fun stuff. More snappers. Let's kill the snappers. Here we go. We get. Disposed of all the snappers, but once we walk through this bridge, it's another secret. It actually acts as another secret because this one is, of course, missable if you actually jump over the ledge to this area and then you can never cast the feather again. Now, you might be thinking, this is a pretty shitty secret since, well, you're only fighting enemies and you can get some more Wigan tree bark stuff, but don't worry because there is a treasure chest. So let's open it up. And it's a silver wizard card with some beans. That's always lovely. Alrighty. So yeah, now we actually have all the beans and shit. We just have to dispose of some more enemies, like this little snail. Bit of a lag spike yet again. I'm not sure what's up, but you know, sometimes the game runs smoothly sometimes, which perhaps it doesn't run smoothly. It's one of these days where we have a bit of a lag spike here and there. I apologize, but hopefully it doesn't really annoy you too much. I have to be careful to not wake Goyle. There he is, sleeping like a particularly ugly baby. Like a particularly ugly baby. <laughs> oh, Harry. So yeah, we're actually at the end, we uncovered all the secrets. Thankfully, we were able to actually uh, push the block. Seriously though, I've also shown you the uh, other method, the parkouring method, if the block doesn't want to drop for you. Also, really, that one bean is over there. 
now I can't get it. Thank you, game. Thank you. But it's okay. Doesn't really matter that much. Just one bean. Let's go grab a bit of goil. And then we can actually progress for the next part of the game. So yeah. Happy that we actually been able to uncover this map. And we got a lot of secrets. We got a lot of cards. Six cards, I think, in total in this map, I believe. So yeah. Let's do this. Let's, uh, let's try and get a bit of goil. I need to take the bit of goil back to Hermione and moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Once again, I like that Harry actually talks to himself to inform the player of what to do. Thankfully, we are actually on the right floor, so it's not really a long walk. And then once we actually reach the bathroom again, we're going to get a lot of cutscenes. But it's going to be interesting. The outcome of this cutscene is going to be very interesting and you will see very soon. So yeah, let's do this. More cutscenes. I've got the bit of goil. Well done, mate. There you go. Rather you than me. Thanks. Ugh. Harry! Ugh, that is disgusting! Are you okay, uh, Harry? Yeah. I'm fine. Go down to the dungeons and see if you can get into the common room. Okay. Good luck, uh, Harry. This is so funny because a couple of things. One, Goyle's voice is like a very derpish one. He's like, okay, let's go. And yes, you're actually now Goyle. You have the skin and texture and whatever of Goyle. I also love how the Polyjuice Potion also helps with giving Harry the right school uniform because now he is a part of Slytherin. Because his Gryffindor uniform magically disappeared along with his red sweater, it's now a green one. It's pretty funny. And you can actually interact with some people, I think, in Hogwarts, which is interesting because, you know, why not? You get some unique dialogue from it, I guess. Hurry up, Harry! Every second counts! Well, it's not really time-based, but whatever. Let's talk to you again, see if there's any unique dialogue. Go down to the dungeons and see if you can get into the common room. That's what you said in the cutscene. What's up, Hermione? Get a move on, Harry. Jeez. Good luck, uh, Harry. Okay. And you also notice that the BGM, the background music, is actually a bit different because you're playing as Goyle, so it's all fun. And yes, being Goyle, you can actually also cast spells of course the same spells as, as, as you have learned before and you also have like different uh, voice clips of him jumping and all that kind of lovely stuff so yeah we're gonna go down though and we're gonna save it up because the next part as was actually mentioned in the cutscenes is to infiltrate this Slytherin common room now this is a very very interesting part of the game because you can actually do a couple of things there um, which are like like I said really interesting because you may actually now have influence over how many house points Slytherin has. If we take a look again at the menu screen you know we see like ah 486 points <gasps> but Slytherin now got uh, Slytherin now has 540 house points. So yes, we're actually not in the lead anymore. So what do we do now? Hmm, well, from what I've heard, you can actually make sure that Slytherin loses house points when you're playing as Goyle. It's a one-time opportunity, of course, but you can make sure that Slytherin actually loses house points. You're actually just trying to create a sabotage of the whole house points competition ceremony thing seriously harry you're such a dirty cheater if you're gonna do this but we're gonna do this anyways and i want to see how far we can actually get with this maybe we can get slytherin up to zero points wouldn't that be amazing and then we have maybe if there is another bonus beam room we will have so much time in the bonus beam room challenge maybe 
that would be a nice reward if this is the case. So let's go back. Let's go down there. And uh, yeah, we're still as Goyle. We can still do stuff. Maybe let's try to make some more potions. Oh boy, so many potions that we can make. We got 12 health potions right now. But let's go save it up. And with this, I actually want to make it an end of this play session. I think that I have covered enough for today again. I mean, we are Goyle. We are getting close to the end of the story mode of this game, which is good. And uh, of course, the next parts, as usual, gonna be interesting, unique levels and maps and cutscenes and interactions and events that can only happen one part in the game. So it's really interesting for me to actually try to uncover everything all in that, you know, in, in this uh, walkthrough series. So I have to practice again. Hopefully the game executable file doesn't act up strange again, because really it's just, it's just, it's just a bit frustrating. But like I said, I, I create a backup of all these saves. So hopefully the continuity will be there. Everything will be fine. So uh, yeah, but I want to thank you guys for watching, of course. Like a favorite if you like the content, subscribe to our channel, rake your free from upcoming videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.